How you doing anglers? This is Wesley Remmer with the Peninsula Clarion and you're watching Tight Lines, your hub for all things fish on the central Kenai Peninsula. Well after a decent opener to the sockeye salmon season on the Russian River, anglers may have to wait for the bite to resume. Jason Pollock, assistant management biologist with the Department of Fish and Game, told me that Saturday's opener was good but that fishing slowed down into Sunday evening and has since tapered off. The water level in the upper Kenai River has dropped about a foot this week, it's been low all season, and the river is unusually clear for mid-June. That doesn't mean the reds won't come, Pollock said, instead it's just a matter of when. He told me he isn't sure when the fish will move given the conditions, whether they will hold at the lake longer or if they will push through regardless. He said the fishing has definitely cooled off, but a big shot of fish, the peak, should come in the next week or 10 days. Remember, the limit is three sockeye per angler per day for fish over 16 inches and 10 for fish under 16 inches. The department's most recent count for sockeye re released on Tuesday was 3,759 for the season. Again, Pollock characterized the fishing as pretty slow based on department observations and reports since Sunday, but there are still fish to be caught. He said experienced fishermen who were willing to hike around could pull their limit of three, but that it could take some time. The sanctuary area of the Russian, which includes water downstream of the ferry landing to about 300 yards upstream of the public boat, boat launch at Sportsman's Landing, as well as the mouth of the river, is closed until July 15th. Citations were issued to some anglers over the weekend, so remember to check the regulations for additional information and on which areas the sanctuary includes. Rainbow trout fishing remains open on both the Russian River and the Upper Kenai. Speaking of the Kenai, an estimated 317 early run kings passed the sonar Monday to bring the season total to 6,388. That's according to a report released Tuesday from Fish and Game. The number of kings entering the river has been on the decline each day since June 7th and the use of bait remains prohibited. On Tuesday, water clarity was described as excellent above tidal influence and good below tidal influence with visibility readings of 6.4 feet at mile 15.3 and 3.1 feet at mile 8.6. The Anchor River is now closed and will remain closed until 11.59 p.m. June 30th after an emergency order was released by Fish and Game on Monday. Explaining the closure, the department said it couldn't predict with certainty the sustainable escapement goal of Kings would be met for the season. The Ninilchik River and Deep Creek also are closed, but the lower portions of the Ninilchik, Deep Creek, Anchor Creek, and Starisky Creek will open July 1st. And in halibut fishing, Fish and Game has received reports of mushy halibut, fish with soft or flabby flesh, sometimes with pockets of jelly-like tissue, said Carolyn Bunker. The department has yet to test the fish, but it said in a news release that reports are similar to incidents in 1998 and 2005 when pathology tests determined the cause was nutritional myopathy. Anglers are encouraged to release all flabby fish unharmed and move holes to avoid them. Good clamming tides are expected through Sunday on sandy beaches from Kasilov to Homer, and all shrimp and cab crab fisheries are closed in Kachemak Bay. Tanner crab season opens July 15th. I know that was a lot, folks, but we've got to wrap it up. If you've got questions or comments this week, please e email us at tightlines at peninsulaclarion.com. And always remember, the right line is a tight line.